Yeah. He ain't stepping up like radio right here. He ain't stepping up like this. Yeah. Oh, no. Nah. He putting on a big no front. No or, <laughs> hold on, which one is you? Hold on. That one, that one, that one, and that you one. You stepped it up like that? You get money like that? Hey, man, you're an inspiration. <laughs> I see you flushing 20s down the toilet, and I'm trying to fucking, like, you know. Damn. I'm still trying to spend 20 on my lunch. <laughs> All right. What's up? Radio Rahim with the problem, Adrian Bronner. You're going to be at the bar, Clay. Now, you know you, you usually don't get interviews, but I'm giving you one because your, <laughs> your shit's set up nice. You know what I'm saying? You got a nice setup I over here. I had to bring this so I could get this interview. This is all just for you, Adrian. Okay, all right. <laughs> you got to get a new camera guy, though. He got a shirt off and shit. He look like he about to do a jail workout. <laughs> He's the only one that's actually a fighter in my crew. I always have to okay, have a real uh, active fighter. Okay, that's Will. Uh, He's, he gets in the gym with us. I'm a fighter, too. I don't know if you know that. I you, train, too. Okay, yeah. okay. You tired of people insulting y'all? Yeah, and just in case somebody throw a punch, I got to be able to slip it. All right. That's what I'm working on. And Saturday night, I, first of all, this has been the most contentious debate between fans I've seen in a long time. There's always the A.B. Bronner camp, people rah-rah, shish boom bop for you. But Mikey comes in with his own constituency, the, the, the Mexicans, a lot of boxing heads listen, Radio, feel like listen, he's listen, the guy. Listen, listen, all right? All right. You starting to say all these big words, I'm, I'm starting to take it as disrespect. <laughs> I know you're an educated man and you understand so, nah, these words. Nah, I'm joking with you. <laughs> nah, though, you know what? Uh, it, it's going to be a hell of a fight. You know, um, this camp, you know, uh, I've went back to Colorado Springs. I've, 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 I've blocked everything out. I'm focused mentally and physically strong, and I'm just ready to put on a show. You've been a star for so long and always really the favorite. Even in the fights that didn't go your way at the end of the bell, you were the favorite to begin. This, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, is the first time you're coming in as an underdog and people thinking that the guy you're facing is just across the board better than you. Don't, don't get it twisted. I'm still the favorite. They just taking what, what's going on outside the ring and bringing it inside the ring. That's all it is. But it's cool. I like it better this way. So when I win, hopefully I get more credit. Do you think that that's an unfair analysis? What happens in your personal life has nothing to do with what happens in the ring? I mean, it's kind of crazy, but that's just how it is. But, you know, it's okay. S Saturday, everybody, I have a change of heart. And, and we got a big bandwagon. I've seen you in the press in the build-up to this fight saying, oh, uh, I'm focused, you know, I've changed. I'm looking at this whole thing differently. I'm more dedicated than before. Why? Why? Do you, did you feel like there was something that needed to change? It's just time to grow up, man. It's time to stop bullshitting and just take what's mine. You know, uh, God bless me to put me in this position. And, and um, I've, I've really come from a city where a lot of guys make it and then, then they fall. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I, I don't want to continue that curse, Cincinnati. I want to break it and, 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 and stay at the top. I talked to Bernard Hopkins, a legend of sport, someone who garners a great deal of respect, and he flat out told me, you know, he doesn't root for guys, he's not a fan of fighters, but he's a fan of yours, and he's rooting for you, and he felt like, you know, Mikey's a more dedicated fighter, but he, in his heart, is pulling, pulling for you, wants you to come through, wants you to reach that kind of potential. How much do words like that inspire you and encourage you, and are you at all disappointed that people see you as a fighter who hasn't given 100%? Um, I can't be disappointed at nobody but myself. At the end of the day, you know, um, it's me the one that got to go prepare. It's me the one that got to fight. And, you know, um, you know, for this fight, you know, I, I'm going to show the difference. And 100% um, Adrian Broner. Let's talk a little bit technically. And now, let's get in the ring. Mikey is considered a fighter who is very technically proficient, sound, calm in there. Uh, uh, consistent and you're thought of as a big puncher Mikey is just now stepping up to 140 you're known for you know knocking guys out there smaller than you and you got a track record of a lot of Latin you, fighters you, so you just, you just low-key threw some shade punk ass nigga talking about knocking, no, no. knocking guys out that's smaller than you well Mikey's smaller than you and he's stepping up to this weight division and that's something that a you guy with a power puncher it's that. not shade it's not shade it's true and is it going to be easier for you at 140 to beat a guy like Mikey who is technically sound, but you're bigger than him? There's no argument that you're bigger than the guy. I mean, you know, uh, Saturday just know, man, I'll be focused and I, I'm ready to put on a show, man. You know, uh, I've, I've actually 
to be honest, I, I've looked at like some people who, who like was talking about the fight and um, Dre had like some crazy words for me. I was like, oh, yeah, let me get my shit together, man. I'm tripping. <laughs> what crazy words? He put out an interview. I don't know what it was on, but somebody sent it to my phone and I watched it and I got it at like four in the morning. <laughs> what did he say? He said a lot, man. <laughs> Look, uh, like, first of all, I don't want you to take... Oh, okay. So we're going to let you get to that stage. Listen, Shit, this I appreciate... Right here. Look at, look at <laughs> man, what are you doing with all this, man? Yo, I'm trying to bring the spotlight to boxing and today to bring the spotlight to you. Give me a prediction for Saturday night, man. Perfect world. How do you see this thing going? I'll be victorious. Point blank period. Radio Raheem with Adrian, the problem brawner, about to get on that stage and in a second about to get in that ring and show and prove everything he said today. We're going to find out if this shit is real or if it's all just talk. Thank you.